Jeez, why you gotta be such a grouch? Because, genius, I'm sitting here listening to testimony from Batman and a pizza man over who murdered Bigfoot! Fair enough. I'm translating from Sasquatchies, so my apologies if some of this doesn't make sense. Read it! My dearest Dom, you were a friend to me out there in the Wyoming backcountry. I was so sad to see you go. But I know that you had no choice when Batman threatened to release those images of you using moldy cheese on your pizza. That never happened! Don't let him get away with that. He is not the good guy in all of this. Blackmailing you and I, he forced me to turn on you. If I didn't, he said he'd burn down my forest and reveal me to the world. This is all a lie! Don't believe him when he says it's a lie. He had this all planned. He turned you against me. Your cake didn't kill me. He's going to be the one that kills me. What the did I do to you? Your moldy cheese left Batman with diarrhea for three weeks. So are you a want to be a to die? Batman is the guilty one, your honor. He's the reason Bigfoot is dead. All Dub did was cheap out on cheese. Electrocute him. <laughs> You are free to go, but I'll be sending the health inspector! Oh, a shit! Like this video if you've ever used electricity. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Roots, and welcome back to NASCAR 15 season. All right, I gotta get comfortable for this. It has been a long ass week waiting for this day to come, waiting for this race. Today is the day where we decide to. I can't even talk, I'm so nervous. Where we decide the final four that are gonna contend for a championship at Homestead next week. We are not locked in. I probably went into Texas last week a little bit too overconfident. I thought I could handle that, no problem, and I would win that race and lock up a spot. But we didn't, we ended up in fourth. So now we only have a points buffer on that cut line. Though we didn't win, it was quite the glorious race. We had some record right off the bat, that's always fun. And then Carlos Jr. exploded all over me, over there in turn two, that scared the crap out of me. Hit strategies, shuffling the field, I was at the back, then I was at the front, then I was at the back again, then right there, late in the go, and you have a wreck. Outback Stenhouse wrecks out, takes Jeff Gordon and Ramsey down to hell with him, which sets up a shootout. Five laps to go, I'm the leader, I'm on older tires than everybody else, and I wasn't able to hang on. Jeff Boyardee clears me, drives away with it, and I'm left wondering if I just pissed away my one opportunity at a Final Four spot. We're still sitting in a relatively decent position. We are the points leader, one race remaining in this round. Up by three over Steve Harvey, seven over Redneck Jesus, and that's the cut line, because I think at least, Jumbo won Martinsville. If this game is worth a grain of salt, it will have put him through to the next round, to the championship four. I'm gonna go into this with the thought process that he is through and that one spot has been secured. So if that's the case, at the moment, Jeff Gordon Ramsay is outside looking in and we've got 19 points up on him. I did the math. This doesn't calculate if Jeff Gordon Ramsay wins this race today. If he does that, that's gonna throw everything out of whack, and what I'm saying right now doesn't matter. If he finishes in second, let's say, and leads the most laps, all I have to do is rattle off a top 15 finish, and then I'm good. What happens if Tony the Tiger, or T-Rex, or Bushy Bushy win? Rawr! that I was supposed to do that sooner. I could go through so many damn scenarios, what we need to do, what everybody else needs to do. We could sit here all day and try to figure that out. That's not what I want to do. I want to run this race to the best of my ability, do everything I can to gain as many positions as possible and hopefully it'll be enough. If you're actually one of the people that gives a shit about the rest of the point standings right now, there you go. Murph turn two set up this whole fan paint scheme design contest for me for this race here at Phoenix today. You guys were able to design schemes and submit them on Discord, and then Murph and I picked out four that we thought were the best. I put those four out on my community tab, and I had you guys vote on them. Well, with more than half of the votes cast. 
I am happy to announce that 66 fan, his car, his design, the Maroon Store Chevy has won the contest, my paint scheme for the day! Thank you to everybody that submitted paint schemes for this contest. I very much appreciate it, and I'm happy that we were able to get all of you guys involved. Congratulations, 66 fan. Oh, God, my hands are already sweaty. You thought it would be cute to wait until the last day to get your way into the final four? What are you, some kind of fucking idiot? Your driving skills are going to be tested to the upteenth amount here today at Phoenix. This track is flat, but it also has some banking, which means it's hard as hell to get a car to handle around here. Seven drivers still do not know their fate if they've run this entire season for absolutely nothing just to get to this point and have the door slammed in their face. Beat! Bang! Wreck! Do whatever you have to, because this shit, it's prestigious! You want to be there at Homestead! You do not want to be one of the pilgrims that has to watch the other four contend for a championship while you're back in the back... Sucking your thumb, you loser! Make your dream a reality today! Make it happen for yourself! Phoenix, it starts now! Let's get the video started! Let's go! Yikes! Let's take a peeps around this car for 66 fan, the Maroon Store. You've got Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Look at my beautiful face down there. Gas can water. Dom DeLuise Pizza extends over here. And then you've got a Mickey Mouse there on the left quarter panel. This is a gorgeous car. I absolutely love it. I'm excited to drive this one today. That's what I'm talking about! We do this! We're making it through! I like the way this is looking so far! This is the last round of qualifying. Jeff Gordon Ramsay was fastest in the first round. It doesn't seem like they're able to run any faster on like a second lap though. That's it, session's over. We might have it, we might be good. Let's go, let's go! Come on, I wanna see it! Are you fucking kidding me? Who's the dead motherfucker that beat me? Who? And you're telling me he mustered that up on his last lap? I know I should be happy because it's a great qualifying run. Much better than what we usually have. But damn! All eight of us are in the top 14. Yikes. Hi everybody, Mike Joy and Daryl Waltrip welcoming you to the penultimate race of this year's Sprint Cup season, the Cobalt Tools 500. Every team in the chase is hoping to come out of Phoenix with maximum points going into the season's final race next week at Homestead. So it's a matter of resource management, conserving what you've got and getting good track position. Things are gonna tighten up. As we get near the end of the chase, this is a very, very <laughs> critical race. All right, Daryl, time to go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing in the desert, boys and girls. Thank you, Daryl. I'm just like sitting here rocking back and forth, stressed out of my mind. As we're coming hello. to the green, where the hell are you going? Right You're the guy that I want to beat today. We've got great, great track position to start this race. I want to lead a lap. Let's complete. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, complete the lap. Lead the lap. Bonus point right there, baby. Let's go. I want to keep this great track position all day long as they're three wide behind me. Don't worry about that. Focus on your race. You, 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 big old dickhead. We're on our way to Phoenix. Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger started in 14th. He started in fucking 14th. And he's up to the lead already. Well, I'm coming back. I'm on a war path after what the hell the 15 just did to me. I would have been so pissed off had I just wrecked out and gone to the back after my awesome qualifying run. So far, it's handling pretty well. 62, we got 62 total laps, 60 to go right now. It's a long race. We'll see what the handling is like at the end of the run when the tires start to wear yeah. out. If I could put myself in position Good job. Really? to lead the most laps, right. 
that'd be another bonus point. We're still in the era where they were giving those out for leading right, laps, right, leading the most corner. laps. You're gonna go break on, check go me. On. You're gonna get the business. Let me have it. Let me take it back, please. Go on, go on. Oh, we, we ain't turning. Where are you going to? Damn. Right into the wall, right onto the front of my bumper like a freaking bug splattering. Give it to me. Come on. Come on, Diggle Diggle. Yeah, right. Captain. Come on, Diggle Diggle. You don't need it that bad. I need it more than you do. I cannot believe that all of us are at the front of this field. I see Bushy. I see Redneck Jesus. I see the 78. Everybody is up here. A settle in here. Just take it easy. Take a deep breath. Relax a little bit. Whenever you get an opportunity to relax, take advantage of it. I'm pretty excited about the handling of this thing. I was worried coming in after we had that third. We were all worried that 37th place run we had here in the spring. But you know what? I went back. I watched some tape. I watched that video back from when we were here in the spring. And we were running top 10-ish, top 15 late in that race, but then got wrecked out by Jeff Gordon Ramsey. And that is why we finished where we did. Our flat track program here at Moves Motorsport, maybe it's not as bad as we thought it was. So they first yeah. asked me if I wanted to bring the New Hampshire car here. I said, you're fired. We built this puppy from scratch and 66 fan helped put it together. So far, I don't know, this scheme, it's got some magic to it. And if this race has to be boring as hell, me leading the entire time, so be it. I get the feeling that this is going to be like a track position day. If I were to fall back into the pack, I'd be very worried about getting back up here. I, I just, I get that feeling that it's gonna be really hard to pass for everybody. We already got pit stops. Well, that makes me feel better. They're sort of in the same boat when it comes to tire wear. Now I'm not gonna pit here because those are all the people that suck. They don't have any hopes of running up near the front. I don't want to get on their pit strategy. Maybe we can make it to like lap 20, lap 21, and then we can break this into thirds. It also would be nice to push this as far as I can. The leaders are coming in. Wow, the floodgates have opened. Push this as far as we can and keep everybody a lap down just in case we get a stray yellow from the AI. I don't intend to cause any yellows today. If we see any sort of caution, it's gonna be coming from them. Everybody is in. I wanna make it one more lap. We're not that far off of our fast lap. I guess we are slowing down. We're like a half a second off of that, but I'm gonna push it one more. It doesn't handle that bad. I'm gonna make small adjustments on this pit stop. Yeah, there's nothing left of that right front. We're coming in. I have damn near everybody a lap down. A great time for a caution. No speeding, don't do anything stupid. We are not going to beat ourselves today. That'll be for after the race. You know, celebratory. It handles pretty damn well, but I think it could be a bit looser. We forgot the pit box again. We always forget the pit box when we got the Phoenix. All right, can you guys speed it up a little bit here? You got me concerned that I'm gonna lose this. I think they're coming. God almighty. Awesome job, All right, guys. so it's going to be one of those days. Hey, one of those that, really stinking focused, bad that. pit stop, green flag pit stop days. Fuck! Absolutely awful green flag pit stops. That's what we can expect. Well, now we're going to find out how well we can pass. Yeah, Chef Boyardee would have been so much trouble had he not been booped out of that first round. I'm telling you. He'd be in the final four. He won last week. He won in the round of 12. He'd be oh, in. Go. We just ran our fastest lap. Oh, we are still quick. Chef Boyardee leading is at the end of the world. Bushy is in friggin' second, though. And the 78 is up there. The 88 is up there. The 14 is right here. So there are a lot of people that could make our lives bad if they somehow found themselves up in the lead. We still have speed, though. It's right, not that, that things aren't that off. Yeah, I don't like that we lost that much friggin' time. Knowing I'm gonna have to make, if this stays the way it is, another green flag stop, and that's just gonna knock me further down into the pack. But at the moment, we're okay. I'm not stressing about what could happen right, in the future. The adjustment has helped. I right, like the handling of it. Ahead. It's pretty secure. Honestly, I could probably take out a bit yeah, more wedge the, the next time we pit. Don't do this to me, asshole. Thinking that Bushy probably is gonna have to win the thing. If he wins, 
Yikes, that oh, shuffles man. up a lot. Oh, oh, man. Man. We didn't really take any damage, we're okay, but I see these AI making that outside line work at three and four. Why don't I get the same sort of true treatment? I said it wasn't supposed to be me! What did I even do to him? He just hit the wall a little bit. So what? Put some Bondo on it, you're fine! Damn it! You wanna pit, buddy? I would like to pit. Yeah. I hope everybody's paying. This is interesting because we're not going to be able to make it the rest of the way. So people could stay out for the track position. But I want the fresh tires. The tires definitely mean something. <laughs> oh. All right. Some took track position. T-Rex being the key one of that group. He's the only one of the playoff drivers that stayed out. Got to be careful on this restart not to get... Not to get driven through. That's what cost me in the spring race was a late race restart. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was exciting. That got the nipples pointed. Where the hell did Jimmy come from? Where are you? Oh, we are losing a lot of spots. I gotta get down here. Get rid of him. He's the guy I gotta be worried about. I gotta get to the bottom. This outside, this outside lane's for the birds, man. I don't wanna be out here anymore. Down around the bottom, that's where the speed is. Slow it down. I want to point out that the 78 has already whoa, already plummeted. Down to like 10th. Shit, I missed it. Wait a minute. Let me just get clear. And then we will there's smoke. What are we doing back there? I gotta. Welcome to Michael Bloom's Metro! Report presented by Gas Can Water, Dom DeLuise's Pizza. Uh, who the hell else? We got Mickey Mouse Clubhouse on here, the Merch okay. Store. All of them are presenting it this week. Why do I get this sneaking suspicion? What are you doing? Oh man, they want to. They want to. I get this feeling that this race isn't as straightforward as we might think it's going to be. That first run around. of the race was all clean and green. Everything was hunky-dory nice. But now, it's starting to get a little bit stressful. I didn't want to pit there. A lot of people stayed out. Some people pitted, though. The strategies, they're starting to fluctuate. Things are getting crazy. But we're not within range of being able to make it to the end yet on one more pit stop. These restarts are just something else. And of course, I'm on the outside again with this one. I, oh. Don't let anybody underneath you. The only people down, down on the... I, I can't even talk. I'm, I'm getting stressed, man. I'm getting nervous. Trying so hard to focus up and to not screw this thing up. I want it down around the bottom. I do not want people beneath me because that's when things are going to go wrong. Three, one. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me, bro. I'm lucky that didn't give me damage. I'm four wide now. This isn't what I need. Shit. Let's chase back down. Let's go to work now, buddy. Come on. You've got to be fucking kidding me, bro. I'm telling you, it's going to hell in a handbasket. I had such little control over the car. The restarts are nuts. They're absolute. Oh, they're hot trash. I'm close. I'm really close to being able to make it. They're gonna deduct a few laps with this caution. If we could get it to stay green, we'll be really close to making it. This could be our final pit stop. Dead last. And we're on 24 to go. That might be too far. We wouldn't have gained that much track position by staying out, being back there already. So I'm not really too upset. We can't make it from here. We're going to have to pit one more time with a few laps to go. I got to feel out this car. I think it's pretty good. I think it'll handle all right. We just have lost all of our track position. I see some people that we are racing against, the 14, the 18, Team. They're just driving up into the wall out there. They're probably going to be some goofballs making pit stops unnecessarily soon. Just we're going to stay the course, not get wrecked, keep it pointed in the right direction, and wait this thing out. Try to get some track position back. Got a few cars making pit stops, and that's slowing down chunks of the field. Come on, come on, get out of my damn way. As long as. 
one of the round of eight doesn't win. So many people are hitting the fence. Nicely done, man. Back, then man. that makes things a lot simpler. I know I'm bumping people. I, I don't care. We should be in almost an okay spot. Like I said, top 14, top not top, top 15. So I got to remember that. We got to keep that in mind. We don't have to swing for the fences. We don't have to win. We just need a solid run. As long as douchebags don't start winning. That don't need to be. I see Jeff Gordon Ramsay just up the road. That's good. Keep him like within eyesight. No, you... Fucking! Caution here. Fuck! Fuck! I took engine damage. Damn it! They just slowed down so much, so I tried to get to the outside of them. Fuck! Everybody's gonna pit here. I don't know. I can't even believe that they gave me 20. I thought I would have figured that they would have sent me to the back. You know how close we just came to like blowing the engine? And some people, can they all make it? Are we gonna have people make a green flag pit stops when they don't need to be? This is our last pit stop. I wonder where this is gonna put us in the lineup. Is it gonna put us to the back? Because we have all this damage to fix? Or are we gonna come out of here with a little... I will take any track position. 34th. Man, we lost somebody. Somebody DNF'd. <sighs> 25 people stayed out? You can't tell me that all of them can make it to the end. There's gonna be pit stops happening. It is going to be a very interesting next 16 laps. That's all I can say. Run this outside, don't let, uh, he's gonna get me, ain't he? No, he's not, we're good, we're good. Jeff Butter Ramsey, how the hell are you? You're going three wide right in front of me. Don't let any more people beneath you than you have to. Make the court, come on. All right, we're clear, get me, I gotta get to the, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, this sucks. This is an absolute mess. Get to the outside. Inside. I gotta get to the bottom. I gotta, I gotta get down here. Get. Okay, behind you. One up top. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. They're hitting me, but we're fine. What the hell was even that? We're okay. As long as he doesn't hit me again, we'll be all right. He hit me again. Get out of the way, big douche! Oh, I am so stressed. My heart is thumping. 27, that ain't enough. I want more points. I'm just glad that we don't have a round of eight in the lead. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's the least you could do. Give me the spot after what you did to me in Texas. There ain't no damn way that all of these can make it to the end. Car up top, just there, I, Yep, there's a four car. He's pitting. He's peeling off. He's going to be the first of a bunch. I know it. I'm fine with this going green the rest of the way. I don't want any more yellows. I don't want any more restarts because we've seen how insane those are. I can literally feel a bead of sweat forming in my right armpit. We are sitting right where we need to be. Top 15. Top 15. Remember, that's all I believe we need to do. I just have got to be so damn careful. Here around, exactly, exactly that. Around the bottom because of them peeling off to make pit stops and slowing everybody down. Redneck Jesus and the 14 out front. They're battling for the lead. The 14 is clear. We just need a good enough run though. We should have enough points. There's still more people. Look at all of them making pit stops. Can the 14 make it though? Can he make it another eight laps? Have to keep it pointed in the right direction. No stupid right shit. Clear. No stupid shit. And don't be getting, there like, wrapped up with people you don't need to be. Okay, yeah. Nice smooth. Nice oh, smooth. man. Come on. Just get clear of them. Get rid of them. Right clear. The 14 is peeling Watch off. He's All in. Right, it's going to be over for right, him. The 88 up. takes the lead. <laughs> Who put that wall there? Another. They're, oh, oh, my God. God. We might be able to win this. All of the playoff people are making stops. This is gonna shuffle things big time. Jeff Gordon Ramsey is up to fourth. He might be able to points race his way in. Moves, remember, you do not need to win the race. If you finish here, you will transfer. 
You do not need to do anything stupid. Jeff Gordon Ramsay is up to third. Will he have, can he make it another three laps? That's the first question. Next question, will he have the points? He was down pretty far. Let's We've go, got buddy. the tires to make it. We don't have to worry about blowing out a tire. I'm faster than him, two to go. go. Oh, don't, don't bring out a yellow. Don't bring out a fucking yellow, bro. We're fine, we're fine, he held on to it. He just slowed down so much going into that corner. No leader moves! Just take the white. Take the white flag. No more cautions. Well, we worked. Yes! We got it. Let's freaking go! I, <laughs> I didn't see it going like this. Jeff Gordon Ramsay up to second. I didn't think we were... I was so freaked out when we wrecked with the 34 coming out of turn two. We are going to punch our ticket, as Rick Allen would say, into the championship four. Let's go! Yeah. Yes! Yes! We're gonna race for a championship! Let's freaking go! You can't even see my face hardly anymore. It's all been scratched off. My lord, this car, this car got the crap beat out of it. But 66 fan. You built me a winner! We are going to wrap up this 15th season with a shot! With a shot, bitch! They're We're going for it all! Get the hell out of that beautiful, beautiful car! Let's do it! Let's go! I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, man, yes! For a track that I was so stressed about running well on. To come here and win, oh, that's freaking great. And we have Jeff Gordon Ramsay. Oh, man, did he make up the points as he threw. We did what we needed to do. We led all those laps and we won! Let's get down to business here. The 24, he, he did everything but win the race. And then you have... That, that he's the only other one, right? Who's next? Who's the, the 78, the 4, the 14, the 48, the 88, and they were all right there. And you got to look at who led. Did Jeff Gordon Ramsay lead any laps? He did not, so he doesn't get a bonus point. He's got a bonus point. Uh, he doesn't have a bonus point. Steve Harvey, Tony the Tiger does. Jemai should be through. He should be. And he got Redneck Jesus. He got a bonus point. Uh-oh. I don't, uh-oh. I think I could say pretty certainly that Bushy Bushy did not make the final four. One DNL, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ragu, but why just slow down so much? Yes! No! Redneck Jesus! No! Damn it! I really wanted to see him make it through. Oh, oh, man! I really wanted to see him be a part of this. Apparently, the win definitely helped out. Jabai, he got his spot after his crappy Phoenix finish because he won Martinsville. Jeff Gordon Ramsay points races his way in. It must have been close. I don't know what the points were between Steve Harvey and Redneck Jesus. It, I think it was, it was fairly tight. And they didn't finish too far apart from each other. I know you guys are gonna know down in the comments how close you, you guys are good with that calculating the points because it doesn't tell you. I can't find out what the final points were, how close it was. Redneck Jesus misses it. Tony the Tiger, he's out. And you also have Bushy Bushy drops all the way down to 11. And T-Rex down to 15th. God, I really wish that they would actually do this. If you fall out of the playoffs, you should be plopped back wherever the hell you are should be. You shouldn't be guaranteed a top 16 spot just because you won a race. Well, here's everybody else. Before we head into the final round of this season with our final four, myself, I'm now driving the 15, Jemai, Jeff Gordon Ramsay, and Steve Harvey in his farewell season. Well, boogity boogity, we're down to Homestead, y'all. The four, the 24, the 48, our old ride and the 80. One of those is a champion. I'm very happy. I, I wish, uh, it would have been great if it was all Hendrick Motorsports. After I did the first, however many seasons we did of this, driving the 48 and then I branched out on my own to drive the 80 and now to my back. We get to battle him for a championship. We also get to battle the 24. I just wish it would have been the 88 also, but Steve Harvey, and we'll give it to him since it's his last year. Go down to the comments and let me know 
which of those four don't kiss my ass and just pick me because I'm me and because I'm so wonderful. Go down to the comments and tell me who you think is going to win that championship next week. I know it's a tough track. I know it's a really tough track. Just hope to God we got the good juju on our side. We can unload the fast car. We got the momentumums on our side. Be great if we could win back-to-back -back races to close this out. Well, I'm done, everybody. We did what we set out to do. We conquered that demon. We gotta conquer one more. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I love ew, every single last one of you guys all so very much. We've been doing this now for about four and a half years. It's been since I first ran the first episode of NASCAR 2011 career. And now here we sit, looking at Homestead, Miami. It's hard to believe how much time has passed, to be honest. It's hard to believe that we're here. But, um, all right, that's it. I'll see you next week for the final episode of NASCAR 15 season. I'm done. Goodbye!